Tonight we're taking you for an exclusive all access backstage pass to NASA's Wallops Island flight facility on the eastern shore. And that's where scientists are developing the latest space technology to help us understand and explore the Earth and beyond. All new at 5, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson has our ticket for entry. Since 1995, the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport has launched several rockets, some to the International Space Station and others towards the moon. Rockets that leave this pad don't launch themselves. You need a whole team of people, and that's where the Virginia Spaceport Authority comes in, who maintains and operates these pads. We are a force or a company of about 125 people, and we operate and maintain the pads prior to launches and then refurbishment after launch. So we're constantly chasing corrosion control modifications and upgrades to make sure the pads are ready for the next launch. Across the country, access to space has been growing, and that has been something happening here at this spaceport. Right now we have three launch pads, and you might hear some construction in the background where we're building a fourth. That pad will be designated Pad 0D, and the first customer will be Rocket Lab's new Neutron rocket. The Neutron rocket will be similar to the Ontario's vehicle that we have seen launch from here before. It's a medium-sized rocket able to send large payloads to orbit and beyond. This spaceport is only one of four ways public and private companies can access space within our country, and that's big for Virginia. One of the things that our nation needs is assured access to space, and you cannot have it if you don't have a spaceport from which to launch. So in the United States, there are only four public spaceports in the entire nation. We happen to be one of them here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And in the future, we might even see reusable rockets come back to where they launched from. We are planning for uh, landing zones to return those, those rockets once they have launched so that they can be refurbished and then, and then launched again in a subsequent mission. And this facility is where it all happens. The payload, the satellite gets linked up with that rocket. They get finally assembled and then they roll out to the launch pad. At the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.